Uh, good day viewers welcome to my seventh fortran tutorial and sorry i was so surprised that it was when i got to the seventh tutorial i discovered that i haven't been using implicit none implicit none in my program i'm very 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 sorry about that i I don't know how, how I skipped it. it. I'm very very sorry. So today we'll be working on select case. So I actually wrote this um example down so it will save some of our time because I want to use I want to do two examples today with select case. So I'll explain this then. I would I would um type the second one. So before that I would also want to tell you the function of an implicit node actually implicit on one it won't stop your program from running but it is very very important to make use of the implicit now because um let me just say because i'm using plato then it is the recent uh, updated editor for fortran program mostly in old versions of um of uh, a fortran compiler um Variables like i, j, k, l, m, and n are said to be integers, and all others are real. So basically, in the old program, when you are using variable i, j, k, l, m, n, the value assigned to it must be integer, and all other values will be real. So that's number with decimal point. So implicit number should must always be used in your program and it would it's it is always after the it is always after the program name so i'm sorry about that i've just been using the same program so i didn't really notice i didn't use the implicit now so thank you for your understanding so back to today's class so this um i actually make use of character a so this is the variable name there accept the value in grid and this is how to use a select case so select case the grid that's what you input here then case a if the value inputted is a then you are great that should be the output so this is the default statement you can have as much cases as you want control c control v so let's make this Let's make this B. Then this one should be you are greater. So this is the case default. If you input anything different from A and B, then you get invalid. Let's just make this interesting invalid input. So let's run this. So let's input A. You can see you are great. Let's run it again. B, you are greater. So let's input anything as apart from A and B. Like you, we have invalid input. Even if you input an integer will also get an invalid input so the second example will be an integer integer grade read grade so case grade let's make this one to one to fifty and fifty to hundred so let's build around this case statement of our labs. Case statement of our labs range. Okay. Yeah, let's put 51. So from 1 to 50, then 51 to 100. So let's run this. So let's test it twice let's try 23 which is less than 
this you get you are great then let's try above Fifty-seven. You can see you are greater. So you can actually, depending on the grade, on the range you want to do, you just keep on writing and writing and writing, and then write your command A. So if you to be integer, remember to put a quotation mark in between the value. So sorry once again for omitting implicit none in all my previous tutorials. Thank you.